Will Australia become unlivable? Well, at first this might seem like a, a crazy question, but the fact is that Australia is at the forefront of world climate related problems. It's looking at a potential national catastrophe. It's increasingly beset by floods, droughts, bushfires, extreme heat, uh, all of which are threatening to life and property. It's really a scary situation. Uh, well, is this all alarmist nonsense uh, or is this the real thing? Uh, I examine both answers. First of all, who say, yes, it is becoming unlivable, it will become unlivable. Uh, to begin with, Australia is highly vulnerable to, to all of the frequently discussed uh, global warming phenomena. It hits them at every level. Uh, extreme heat uh, is a threat to life. It kills more people than all the other natural disasters put together. Those at the lower end of the income ladder can't even protect themselves with uh, air conditioning or swimming pools or uh, whatever the usual way of uh, protecting oneself from, from really crazy heat levels. It can be lethal, lethal for them. Uh, there are occasional bouts of extreme flooding. Uh, and uh, of course they cause damage or even destruction to housing. Many houses have become uninsurable or, in, or insurable at such high premiums uh, that adequate protection is just unaffordable. So as a consequence, what happens? Those houses get sold, they, bought, they get bought by less well-off people who can't afford the more expensive houses, and they eventually lose them to financial pressures or actual inundation. It's a vicious circle. That's an awful situation. Uh, droughts are an increasing threat to farm production and therefore to the availability and cost of food. And that's a, a frightening prospect for, for any country and, and it certainly is the case in Australia. Bushfires, you've often seen them on television, they're a frightening prospect. They are on the increase. Uh, they're not only uh, an awful experience for those in their vicinity, but also they're terribly destructive to residential property, and they're on the increase. Air pollution resulting from Australia's coal-intensive energy industry is itself a threat to health, and it's a, a long-term contributor to the warming problem itself. That's something that hasn't really been tackled yet, and as, uh, as you can understand, is a very hot political item. Every solution to these problems come, comes at huge price, and in the long run, those prices are probably unaffordable without cutting back public services in draconian ways. So it's a real mess. All in all, an appalling prospect. Oh dear, well, what about those who say, oh, that's just a Jeremiah view that's so negative, so pessimistic, uh, it won't become unlivable. First of all, the stakes are so high that human and political resolve will force those in power to take the necessary steps, whether they view them as uh, politically attractive or not. Uh, technology will come to our aid and provide us with the way forward as it so often has done in the past. No one can deny that advances in technology just in the last few decades have been beyond anyone's imagination. Such will be the case with the climate challenge. And uh, we must not forget that Australia's problems are the world's problems. It's not just a problem in Australia. Nearly everybody agrees uh, with this. Only a few holdouts still are deniers that the climate is changing. And there's nothing we can do if that we can't do, really, if, if committed. It'll, it'll take global resolve but it'll gradually become apparent that there is no alternative. It, it will be tough, uh, but we can manage it. Well, huh, what's my take on this uh, dismal problem? To begin with, there, there's no question that the situation in Australia is becoming dire. Uh, the political ambivalence, uh, which still exists to some degree among the political leaders, that, that will evaporate at some point. Uh, hopefully.
hopefully sooner <laughs> rather than later. But never forget that no politician thinks longer term uh, beyond the next election. So that's an unfortunate reality when confronting problems of this sort. Any expensive problems that has a long term uh, payoff is uh, classically ignored by politicians or soft pedals. Australia is the canary in the coal mine. Will the canary down in the coal mine die from toxic fumes or will he survive? We're all watching. Well, I imagine many of you will not be pleased by this video, uh, but I can't escape uh, reporting my analysis and my conclusions and they're, I'm afraid, unequivocal. Uh, take a look at some uh, similar issues uh, <laughs> and subscribe please. Thank you.